Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Forex, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to access and add additional symbols to your MetaTrader 5 Forex trading platform. Now, I would like to mention briefly that if you are interested in trying out MetaTrader 5 or you are looking for a new Forex trading platform, feel free to either follow the link at the very beginning or at the very end of the video. And I'll also be providing the same link, which is clickable down below. This will bring you to a direct download page for MetaTrader 5. So all you'll need to do is just fill out the information window and then proceed to your free download of MetaTrader 5. Now on to this video. So as I said, this video will be showing you how to add additional symbols to MetaTrader 5 for you to access. Now, at first glance, if you do look at MetaTrader 5 and you either use one of the various open chart windows or the open dome or your market watch list here on the side, you only notice there's just quite a few symbols here. Not as many as you may typically expect. Now, this is because there is an entire symbol directory in the background here in MetaTrader 5, but off of default, you only get access to a handful of different symbols. So in this video, like I said, I'll be showing you how to access all these additional symbols that you can add on your market watch list here. So the main method in which I'll be instructing you on how to add additional symbols will follow the view tab up here in the top left hand corner. Now from the view tab, we'll head down to symbols. This can also be accessed using control plus U on your keyboard. So now as you see here, once we are in the symbol screen, there is an entire list of different symbols here that aren't listed by default here in either our market watch list or our traditional chart window. Now, as you can see, there are many contracts that are highlighted with a gold color. Now, there are also contracts that have been grayed out or are a silver color. Any contract that you see with a silver tinge to it or that is grayed out, this is a contract that isn't shown by default on MetaTrader 5. Now, if you would like to utilize this symbol and access it, or just have it so it is shown up on your market watch list here, all you'll need to do is highlight the symbol. So for example, right now I have the US dollar versus a Chinese one highlighted. And if I'd like to add that to my work market watch symbol list here, I simply click on show symbol. As you can see, the symbol is now highlighted gold and the symbol is actually now in my work market watch list here on the left hand side, populating with real time data now. We can do the same thing here for the Russian ruble versus the US dollar. Simply show symbol, and as you can see, the contract has now been added to my market watch list here on the left hand side of my screen. Now you can continue to add more contracts, and you can see it breaks down into different trees sorted by different contracts. So if there is a particular contract that you would like to look for, you can either follow the trees that break down into the specific type of contracts, or you can use the search bar here. If you are looking for contracts that you do not see, such as futures contracts, this will need be needed to be added by the clearing firm that you're with. This can be used and accessed through the login trade account. Once you have logged into a trading account that is approved to access MT5 by your clearing firm, you will essentially be granted with any futures contracts or other types of derivatives derivatives that you may want to access on MetaTrader 5. Again, there are particular contracts that can only be accessed once you are logged into a live trading account, depending on the contract you are looking for. So please be aware, if you are looking for futures contracts, you may need to be logged into a live trading account. But once you have added contracts to your market watch list from the symbol directory here, you can begin to proceed as you would with a normal contract Simply highlight the contract, you can then right click it and you can begin to either open up a, a chart for this or a dome or any of the various other widgets on this platform. If you'd like to, you can also search through here on the market watch list and search for a particular contract. As you can see, there is a huge list here as well, 
but I do suggest going through the symbol navigator per se, the symbol directory here, because it is a visual representation and it does give you all the contract specs here as well. A few other things that I would like to mention in the symbol director here, you can create synthetic symbols and custom symbols of your own, essentially and potentially combining multiple symbols into one. This does get a bit more advanced, so we won't be showing this in this video, but just keep in mind that you can import, export, or create your own custom symbols. A few other things that I would like to show before this video concludes is a possibility to download bar data as well as tick data. And if you do request such data here from your symbol list, it is possible, as mentioned, to export the bar data. This can be utilized in programs such as Excel. And then you could do the same thing for ticks as well, just request the data. You can filter by the date and time, and then you'll get the data you requested. And again, you can export your data and put it into Excel or any other program that does accept .csv files. But that just about does it for this video, guys. Again, if you are interested in trying out MetaTrader 5, feel free to follow the link at the beginning and the end of the video, or take a look at the description. There is a link which will bring you directly to a download page for MetaTrader 5. All you'll need to do is fill out the information bars and proceed with your demo signup request. It's absolutely free, so feel free to try it out. But that just about does it, and thank you for watching.